Hello everyone watching us. Thank you for watching the Ashley show. This is Nancy J. Ashley. I welcome you all to the Nancy J. Ashley show. Yeah, we are here. We welcome you from afar, mm. from the near Netherlands. We have our followers from Netherlands. Yes. We have our followers from Canada, US, right. UK, uh, Dubai, mm. whoever is following us. God bless you so much. Thank you for following us. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing mm -hmm. on our YouTube channels. Thank you for following. We don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Thank you for following us. Thank you for following us. Every platform that we are on, you mm -hmm. guys are following. You see? That is good. Thank you so much. Go to our YouTube page. There is a red button. Hit that red button. You will have subscribed. Follow and you will watch us. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time we were here, we had an episode of depression and something. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we come back with episode number two. But we are proudly sponsored by the Codium Technologies. They use software and many other things. Mm -hmm. So you go check on them on their website. Mm -hmm. Their number is 0701 8582. We call them, talk to them, they'll give you their services mm. in Wandegea, Uganda. Mm. And then we have the Ashley Estates. You can call WhatsApp. You want a nice land, you want a nice uh, place to stay, you want a house, you want anything you want. You can contact Ashley Estates on 0751 23 13 18. And lastly, we have our pastor. Go follow him, like his page, and you can talk to him mm, for counseling, okay. for help. You're there, you're depressed, you're not feeling okay. One time soon, he'll be here with us. And his number is 0703 on the Revelation broadcast. Follow, like, and you can call him, you can talk to him. Yeah, so welcome once again to the Ashley show. Today on the show, I have Mama Precious. Good to see you. Good to see you too. A very good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank mm -hmm. you. I'm fine. How have you been? Not bad. Mm -hmm. The Lord has kept me well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, today on the show, we have um, Precious. As usual, mm. we've met once again. Once again, yeah, <laughs> and it will be like it, it's 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 good to have you always on mm. the show. Mm. And today, I wanted us to talk about depression once again. Phase two, wow, well, you know, we are an unfolding depression phase two. Mm. And what is going on? Like things are going on, different mm. things are going on. And uh, before that, I want to, I want you, I want you to lead us into a prayer. Wow! And after praying, we can go on and on and we can start worship. Yeah, let's pray. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to bless your name. We want to thank you. We want to thank you for everything. We want to thank you for the gift of life. The gift of everything you have given us we don't take anything for granted the oxygen we breathe the lambs the lambs on our bodies we thank you for our families we thank you for good news we thank you for the miracles that are coming forth most of all most above all we thank you for this show father may it touch many may it redeem many in the mighty name of jesus we pray and the lord amen, amen. thank you for watching go to our youtube channel hit that red button subscribe to follow for more episodes now we are still talking about depression mm. the last time we were here we talked about depression with the uh, teenage girls with the uh, young girl child mm. how they are forced into marriages and so mm. on and then we talked about depression at work mm. you know when our bosses are forcing us into you know certain areas where we, we don't want because it's all in the name of you want to work you end up in such a situation and um, i think this show is for everyone yeah 18 and above 15 uh, 18 and below you can watch us we are mothers we are mentors we are coaches you can watch it so um and today I, I i wanted to talk about depression in the boy child wow you know depression why the boy child has depression now you know 
the last time we talked about that our child and mm. so many other things. But this boy is also going to the same place. Mm. Today we have a, a, a percentage of very many boys mm. who are going to depression. Mm. The boys are depressed. Uh, they start drinking alcohol. Mm. Uh, they, they start the homosexual thing. Mm. Uh, they start. Uh, they, be, they they become drug addicts. You know. True. And you find the boy who is uh, good is no longer. He's a man, but still doing certain things. Mm. I wanted to take us through a phase of uh, what can we do and how can we talk to your child. Wow. Um, can you see why our boys, men, fathers, mm. leaders in that sector, why they are facing depression is because they are never considered. They feel it is so, I don't know, when you see in Africa, we look at a man as a burden carrier and we forget that also is a human being. We forget they also get hurt. We forget they also get disappointed. We forget, so we don't look at them in that uh, in that manner that we, we, we give them all the burden as us, the girl child, the women, the mothers. Okay, when we look at this thing, a man will come back home. Let me take a bit of a uh, marriage part, the husband and wife. The husband will come back home and the, all the wife will say, not even a welcome, not even a glass of water. She doesn't want to know how the day has gone. And the man is maybe trying so hard to 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 you know to work for the family, to cater for the family. Things fail. But the woman wants this man to hustle. She doesn't want to know how, she doesn't care. All she wants is what she wants for the family and all whatever when the man comes back home all he can get is uh-huh so there's a caneza uh-huh you didn't leave us with food uh-huh the bills are waiting yet this woman can also help this man maybe she also has a business out there but all she wants is to keep the money for herself i'm not saying women someone made comment and they're like no women we don't give out our money no but have you talked to your partner this is not this is depressing our fathers out there the man is getting depressed maybe you don't know how he's hustling out there maybe even lost a job but he hasn't gotten that time to tell you because you're not a wife you're a knife he's scared of sharing with you his problems he wants someone to talk to these men are also weak that's why god made them a helper God made Adam a helper, and we are the helpers of this man. Be behind a successful man, there is what? A woman. A woman. And not just a woman, but a woman who is respectful, a woman who understands the man, a woman who, who knows when the husband is not okay, a woman who understands the man's character. But you know, and that's how they end up going back and, you know, cheating on these women. That's how they end up in cheating. That's how they end up in, in taking alcohol. That's how they end up in so many things because they are depressed at home. A man will get back home and he will sit in a car for 30 minutes before he ends, before you put the car to enter the gate. Because he's expecting hell. He's from hell. You don't know which kind of hell he's from. He comes back, he gets into a double hell. All he wants is welcome back. How was your day? I knew you didn't leave us with money, but I've managed to do this. But at least I have black tea, though the sugar is not enough, but you can get some. He will know that you my you're so mindful. You still consider him as a man of the home. We have killed this man's ego. A man has an ego, and the moment you kill it, you have depressed him. The moment you bring him down, you have depressed him. When we look at the boy child at work, we have these ladies who are bosses. And they want to depress these boys. You have to sleep with them. Even the boys are depressing. The boy, even boys are raped by the way. A man, a boy will be raped by her boss and he will keep that and he will die with it. In this rape, the, the woman will tell you, if you want this job, come and have sex with me. That mm -hmm. is also depressed. And that then he can't even share it. That's the challenge with boys. Eh? No matter how calm he, no matter how calm he comes out to say this thing that 
my boss forced me to sex have sex with her. No one Actually, will be, everyone will he be, will he will he will live with it. It will become part of yes, him. Yes, because if we will fear to go and tell friends that mm. man, my boss forced me to have sex with her. And if and the fellow men will be like, What? You have just said her man, that's normal. But for him that's not his type of character. Mm. He wants to be respected and you know, they face a lot of challenges. I wanted to talk about um these, these, these young men from uh, the age of 15, right? young boy, 15 mm. to 25, that age, eh? I, I wanted to talk about them. Um, sometimes they have trauma deep down at home, whereby daddy used to hit mom. Mm. That's trauma. There is no way this boy will grow up and you tell him, hey, don't beat me, because he saw daddy do it. Mm. Two. He grew up in an, a polygamous home. Mm. He knows being polygamous is okay. It's no more. It's mm. no more. They grew up uh, in areas where uh, uh, the mom uh, used to hit the dad. Mm. It's no more to them. These parents, uh, to the parents out there, I wanted to share this with you. Why? It is killing the esteem of these boys. Mm. You know, this boy grows up like the world is just he he's, he's just living that life that he's living today he's not saying tomorrow you know mm -hmm. this boy grows up arrogant uh, uh, he's just there confused he doesn't have any proper manners mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you have no control over your children because you're busy at work mm -hmm. you're busy doing a b c d you're running up and down by the mm -hmm. time this boy goes to uh, secondary school mm -hmm. Now, secondary school, they start uh, teaching him behaviors. Mm. You know, when you go to a secondary school or a boarding school, mm. behaviors are very different. You know, it's, 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 it's a mixture of very many things. Mm. This, this boy goes to a boarding school, this boy goes to a secondary school, and then when getting there, after getting there, he starts learning different behaviors. Mm. You know? That's where the homosexuals come out. Exactly. That's where... Uh, uh, masturbating comes out. Uh, you that know, is when, where... a, when a boy is not considered, you know, they come up, you know, this part of trauma whereby he ca he's grown up, maybe he's a chubby boy, and then the fellow boys are starting to make fun of him. You're chubby, you have hips, you have bums, and then it will be, it will get into his head, mm. and he'll start realizing, oh, I'm supposed to be a girl. That's how transgender comes in, and someone mm. changes mm. their life because it has been created. Is it part of depression? Yes, because you depressed this boy, and you're like, man, your voice is not as deep as ours. Man, your voice is as this. You're acting like a chick. You're acting like a yes sissy, and then they start, you know. Take putting all this poison in this boy's head, and that is all trauma. That is depression, and that how he fights depression by changing himself into a girl. Yeah. Then he will change, and he becomes a girl, and then because he was not helped when he was little, there is that bullying at school. I've seen, I was watching news some time back. There was a certain school. I'm sorry, I'm not going to mention the boy. You know, these days they they build flats. And then the boy went up on the first floor up and he came out from the balcon and fell down. Unfortunately, like this guy didn't die, but he was being bullied at school and no one came out to help this guy. You get the guy now he's in a wheelchair. A young boy, 13 years of age, because he was being disturbed at school. You get and now and no one could tell, even if he would, I, I, I assume, if this guy reported the case to the teachers, what did they do? They must have boxed him on the shoulder and told him, man, you're a man, act like a man, act like one. But no one understood what he was doing. What? Going what, what he was going through. He, he chose to take his life. So said, that is all depression. He chose to, the solution, the solution he got was suicide. Let me, let me tell the parents, parents out there, depression is not only supposed to be taken care of by friends and teachers. And be a friend to your child. It is important. Be a friend to your child. Be free with this child. There is a quote I saw somewhere. 
and it says um, tough parents mm. hmm? raise very bad children you be tough you raise the hardest children you know because everything they're doing they're doing out of uh, lies mm. uh, they're trying to please you mm. someone is suffering but they want to please you as a parent because they know you don't want this thing to happen to them parents out there before we go to the depression in uh, the men old men uh, these children these boys these young men need your counseling you know you don't have to only focus on the girl child and leave the boys you see you cannot tell this girl that um uh, you, you are a boy you're not going to have this the girl is the one supposed to have it yes you know it is equal you know i i i think we should we should have time for the girls and then have time for the boys mm -hmm. if you want a very bright future mm -hmm. we are going for a short break and we shall be back in a minute or in a second, let us be back. Welcome back to the actual show. Welcome. Hit that red button to subscribe and follow. And please like the video. You like the video, you keep watching the episode. You can even get notified when we are here and we are talking about stuff. Remember, we are sponsored by Ashley Plastic. You know, if you want land, if you want to buy a house, if you want to build any estate, reach out to us on 0751 23 13 18. We are Ashley Plastic. And then you can still follow us on our Facebook page, Nancy Julian Chinji, and on my TikTok. Nancy Julian Chinji. Yeah. And then we are even sponsored by the Codium Technologies. Mm. Call them, WhatsApp them, uh, any software you need, anything you need doing with the system, IT system. Mm. Call them, talk to them, you can hello in them, and they'll give them answers. And their number, their number is 0701 mm. So welcome back. So we were still talking about. Uh, the boy child like we are looking on how we can find solutions for these boys for these young men mm -hmm. you know uh, sometimes these men, young men are impregnant impregnant girls young girls and the parents are like the parents of the girl are like forcefully telling this boy to marry the girl you will marry her by force mm -hmm. you have to take her home mm -hmm. you have your this boy's mind is not ready for marriage. This young man's mind is not exposed mm. to, to, to the systems of marriage, mm. to the behavior in marriage, to the, you know, this whole part of marriage. You're forcing these young children into marriage, but you don't know what is going to happen. This boy will, will take this girl forcefully and then they will get there and start fighting. They start battling each other, mm. you know. They will get there and this boy, these are the men you find, they, are, they have choked the women. He got a pang and cut every other girl, you know, yeah. because he's forcefully being taken into something he was not ready for. Mm. And you know, these, these children are, are sleeping with each other and what. Sometimes it's not in their mind that something may come up. Mm. They're young. Mm. They don't know if, if how they will treat these girls. And, you know, it's, it's just that from this teenage age to that age, there's these hormones that push them so hard to do stuff. As parents, we need to wake up to these young men. Mm. Talk to your son. Sit him down and show him that actually if if, if you do this, you're going to have you, you're going to have unready, unplanned children. Mm. You know? You need to plan when to get married. From twenty five to to, to to the other years down there, you're still a young man. Not ready for your family, you know. But they used to tell us our parents used to marry at 17. Well, they used to go through a lot. That was then. That was then. And of which our boys can't go through that now. They are not able to. And you know, with the financial status these days, eh? mm -hmm. you have to, to plan. Prior, you have to plan, and you're like, no, according to my, fi sorry, according to my financial status, and the one earning, and the one 
you know, I'm spending, you have to plan for this. You don't need just, you know, this, and actually, this is also the question, name, you know, you, you, the way you earn, your income can be pressed you as a man. At the same time, you're depressed. You have no one to talk to. You have gone to someone to, to have a shoulder, and then you have been pregnant with this lady, and then depression comes from. You know, you do you need to come out. If you, if you, if you feel the pain of this depression, you need to come out and look for a solution. What is the solution? I am earning this, I'm earning this, but still, I'm not making, I'm not, you know, I'm not making it in life. It can be a financial status, it can be, you know, the loneliness in this whole financial thing, it can cause you make more problems than finding a solution, you know. And this is why you come out as, you know, such shows to help you. If you land on such a show and you have no one to talk to, you know, let it help you. We are here to give you solutions, like, you know, she has said, um, this thing of giving birth, having unplanned kids, you know, talk to your girlfriend. If you're not ready, talk to her. I mean, I think I'm not ready to have a kid now because I'm, you know, I need, I still have a lot of things to do. Maybe you, 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 your husband is that target by 2025. I have to have built a uh, house. I have to have saved some money for this car, for the child that I'll have in 2024, maybe late 2024. Talk to your spouse, talk to your girlfriend, talk to your fiancé. Don't die in this thing alone. No, 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 no. There are these boys who beg for a girl. Are you taking her? Yes, I am taking her. Are you taking her? Yes. And they bet some common. And you're falling for this girl you don't even love. You had yes. just baited. Such games. Can Such ruin games. someone's life. They are going to ruin your life, young man. Mm. You know? You're waiting for the chick. What she has been talking about, uh, talking to their spouses or to their uh, girlfriends. Sit her down and tell her, I am not ready. That's a very good point. Tell them, mm. you're not ready. You know? Because love, love, love is a beautiful thing, but love can destroy your life. God is love, and love is God. But when you choose to love each and every person, wherever you go, take off your trousers for love. Mm. You'll find you, you, you're a boy out there. A man a year gives, up, gives birth to a hundred plus children if he's sleeping or not. Mm. You'll find you have a child in so and so you have a child in so and so you have a child in so you're busy, you're a sperm donor everywhere. Mm. Young boy, young man, do not accept sleeping mm. as mothers. We are here to tell you that what you're doing is not right. Mm. This is not the time you should start sleeping around. Respect your body, respect yourself. Mm. Give yourself space to think. Mm. Mm. You know, give yourself space to think. Stop being bitter and arrogant and stressed. And you, 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 you're completely uh, you're removing your stress from you by sleeping around with young women. You know, you have that anger, that depression, that, uh, you know, you've not had a good time with your uncle who takes care of you. Now all of your anger is turned on to this young woman, mm. you know, and you're sleeping with them and trying to make their private parts uh, a mess because of anger. Mm. Young men out there, if you have something you're going through, you can call us on our number there on the screen and talk to us. Mm. Tell us. We are counselors, we are coaches. Mm. We can talk to you, mm. you know, about it and what you're going to do about this whole thing. You know, they say a problem, a problem shared is half solved. Mm. You know, for us, we solve these such issues. We are not saying we are holy of holies, that we have all the answers. No. But we know when you, when you, when you walk with us and the in the Bible, we have so many scriptures that we don't share with you in these certain things, like Chad said, you know. And when we share with you this whole thing and the scriptures, and you know that you're not alone in this, and you, you know, sometimes, you know, this young man, eh, 
I have a thing, especially I'm in here in Uganda. So you see, I hate this one. So it's like, it's a, who am I to struggle with life for work? It's eating chikoma. And I'm also enjoying my chikoma. And yet, you have a gift. You have a gift to become a successful man. You have a gift to help someone out there who is going through depression. You have a gift. God has called you for a purpose. God, maybe you're there and you've called a very beautiful name. You're there and you called Moses, and you don't know the the strong message behind Moses. You know, you have people to deliver from Egypt. First, deliver yourself from Egypt, and then deliver your friends from Egypt. You don't die in that depression. Eh? We have so many struggles that we are facing as men. I'm, you know, and Andy, as men, we, you know, men go through a lot. But let me tell you, once you go in the line of the scripture, and you know, God, now I'm on the wall. Give me a word outcome of this depression. He will, he, he, of course, he will, first of all, he will remind you of his promises. What has he promised? What has he called you for? Uh, do you know your purpose as a man? Because God, you call God he. First look at yourself, you're a man. God as men are heads, not shoulders. Yes. You no. need to know that you're a man, you're a head. You have to strive so hard. You have to you have to come in and put things that are and, and, and expected uh, issues or problems. You need to rise as men. I am taking you back to from the boys to the young man and then now to the men. You know, women out there. Bang, not you okay. You know, try character. You know, you love shouting, you love quarreling, you have, uh, you know, then maybe he's late and maybe you don't know where he's from and you're like, let him come. I am going to show him, I'm going to show him what. <laughs> you say, let him come. I'm, I'm going to wait for him here on the balcony. Let him come and I will show you. You're going to show him. You don't know where he is. Sometimes these men don't pick up pick our, our calls because he knows you're going to show so because he was going to shout, you will to pick your calls. Mm. And now you're boiling. And now you sit on the chair and you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to show him. And now, whatever you call, uh, I'm going to give an example to my sister here. Whatever you call, to show us to tell her. Oh, she's doing good for the husband. And now you're trying to, to, to mix up issues and you're trying to teach them mm. how to treat mm. their husbands mm. so bad. So uh, women, Again, to the ladies, if you want your husband to be treated good, treat them well. You have your money and you're saying, send a it is my money. When you get married, it's no longer mine, it is ours. What has made you one? You one. It is my money. You should give me bad. I'm not going to be. It is our money, not your money. You know? And when you want this man to be open to you, and then he bought a he bought a piece of land and he didn't tell me it's because of your behavior. Sometimes it is because of your mouth. I I I, I tell people that one time I, I used to tell God that God help me with this mouth of mine. Mm. Like help my mouth because whatever you utter out, mm. you're like this. If someone is busy quarreling, the man, the man is busy abusing you. You're stupid. You don't have with you when you're a woman, you will not tell this man that you're stupid. No, no, no. You're not foolish to that extent. Mm. And you will not tell him that may the Holy Spirit take control of you. To avoid all this uh, violence, uh, quarrels and messing up our homes. Men treat your women good and the women treat your men as to be an equal yes equalize try to mm. equalize mm. you know and to the children try to equalize as well mm. you know mm. for the young girls are big carried my girl my girl and the boys are busy suffering so they have men out there be busy with your parents mm. and tell them i'm not feeling fine you know i am going through this the bible tells us that uh, the, the, the bitterness sits in the in the heart of the fish. Mm. Do not be bitter. Mm. Why be bitter? You know. So, love Christ.
I, 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 I tell people that when you want to really feel good, go to church, talk to your pastors, you know, talk to your pastors, tell them about everything that is going on in your life, mm. and they will be helpful, mm. you know. So lastly, I think as we wind up, um, I want you to give them your the last message uh, mm. to, to the young men out there. Me, I am winding up with this one word. Believe God. Mm. Mm. Your help mm. comes from the Lord. Mm. You need to stand strong as a man, as a young man. Stand strong. Because I want you to be the head, not the tail. And that's what the Bible tells mm. us. So I want you to tell them, why not as we finish uh, with the depression in the body? The boys, mm. wow. Yes, like she said, no. Not only the boys, but the men as well. Yes, yes. For me, all I can tell you people, especially the men, down to the boy type, you know, don't give your ego. Don't let depression put you down. Don't allow it. If you have a problem, sit down, think about this problem, and tell yourself. Sometimes you sit and you ask yourself, do I have a problem? Yes. If the answer is yes, what is the solution? Let me tell you, the solution will always be God. For you who is going to land on this, on this, on this show, show and you're not a believer, it's high time you become a believer. Because let me tell you, there is no any other way without God. There is no any other solution without God. God, let God be your solution in this thing. If you have been pardoned, even the Bible says, He will give you rest. If you're a man out there, He has called you the head and not the tail. Be the head of your family. Sit down your wife. Don't let that anger control you. Don't let that depression control you. Don't let that financial down, downfall control you. If you're financially unstable, Sit down with your spouse, sit down with your wife and tell her that truth and tell her, you know what, Peter, this is what is happening. Let that wife intercede for you. Let her, you can join hands together, pray about it, seek for solutions, look for solutions. Come on, Ashley is shows. This is what she talks about. This is what we talk about. Find a solution. Don't let depression kill you. Okay? And I have all, when you are a believer out there and you know you are a believer, don't allow depression to kill you. And you're a woman of God. You're a prayerful woman. Don't let depression ruin your marriage. You're a boy child. Don't let depression ruin your, your education. Mm. Don't let it ruin your youth, your youth age. If you're a young boy and you can, you know, you can, you, you, you can, you can, you, you're a young boy and you have friends who are bullying you, you have friends who are, who are, you know, depressing you in any, in, in, in any way. Don't let it happen. Look for a solution. Speak to your parents. Speak to your teachers. You're in school. You're depressed because of a subject. Go. Don't let it sit on you. Stand up. First depression in the eye and you're like, I will not let you kill me because you are a killer. It will lead you to suicide. If you, you know, if you have a girlfriend and she is depressing you because of such, she is putting, she is ruining your life. She is making you do things for her and you, you are not ready to do them. Find a solution. The solution is to leave her since when you're below 18 years of age and you're, you're depressed because of her. You're depressed because of the finances and all. You're depressed because of what your parents are going through. Pray for them as a young kid. And you're a man out there. You're depressed in work. You're depressed in business. Don't let depression kill you. Seek God. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, when you knock, the door shall be open. When you pray, God will answer. Even in Jeremiah 33, 3, he says, when you call unto me, I will answer, and I shall show you great things that are in the secret. All sorts of solutions to what? To, 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 to depression. As a Christian, I'm telling you, my fellow Christian, my fellow brother in Christ, my fellow sister in Christ, don't let depression kill you. Don't open a room for the enemy. God has given you love. He is with you in every situation. You know, 
If you remember the scriptures, remember the promises of God when he said he shall set a table before your enemies. Let that depression prepare you for that table. Let it prepare you. When God says even if you walk through the valleys of shadow of death, he shall be with you. Keep it on head. Read your word. And if you're an, an unbeliever, you don't believe in Jesus Christ. This can still help you because we have not talked about Jesus all throughout. We have talked about the day to day life, whereby we know it can even help you as a Muslim. And even these scriptures can help you despite of your religion. There is a solution in what we have said that can help you despite of your religion. You know, don't bypass the show because we have or we have said it's a Christian show. No, it can help you. You're there, you're dying in your marriage. But she talked about something about marriage. Do you find a solution? Let everything we have said be a solution to your life. Be a solution in your home. Be a solution in your marriage. We are going to end with a prayer as she has asked me to end this the show. We are going to end in a prayer. But as I was we pray for you, believe and receive whatever we are going to do upon your life today in the mighty name of jesus believe that it's going to work for you it's going to change your life it's going to change your way of thinking it's going to change the way you're doing things from today from the time you land on this show everything is going to be perfect it's going to be super we are examples we are first through depression so we do want to see our sisters die of depression we do not want to see our brothers dying of depression we do not want to see our children dying of depression we do not want to see our fellow parents in this dying of depression in their marriages no way as a married woman you know when god said god has put you together with your husband and your one and he said if he has put you together let no one put asunder don't let depression put asunder between your your husband and you don't allow anything if he's cheating find a solution be an be a wife and not a knife be a wife for peace. Be a wife where your man will come back home and he knows I'm going back to my wife that God gave me. You know, God said the man will leave his father's house and will join the woman. Meaning he, he left his father's house to join you, to become one with him. So you are his helper. Be a wife in that marriage. Don't ruin that marriage. Keep your marriage in prayer. Keep your marriage in god's face don't let it go in a depressed way don't allow that if depression opens room for the enemy as we are winding up let us hand ourselves up for you heavenly father we thank you for this show we thank you for what we have spoken i know whatever we have spoken it was it came direct from you these are not our words but of you jesus father let us touch souls let us touch broken hearts father whoever is there in the dying of depression a girl child a boy child a mother a parent a husband a father whoever a guardian is going through any kind of depression father may you meet them at their need point may you be there for them king of kings when they call on your name father may you answer their prayers whoever is going into depression of suicide father may you remind them that you died for them once and for all and they don't need to take their lives but to have solutions father we thank you for this show we thank you for our host julian we thank you for this moment king of kings we know it is all because of you because you're delivering a message to someone out there we bless your name and we thank you so much father we know that this show is going to help someone out there and it's going to bless someone in the mighty name of jesus we pray and believe amen thank you for watching and amen so god bless you so much if you want to follow us follow us on our tiktok pages uh you can follow me on my tiktok nancy julian Chenji. you can follow us on our facebook nancy julian Chenji. you can follow us on um on our Instagram, Nancy Julian Jinji. You can still uh, follow us on our page, on our, this page of us. Hit the red button to subscribe and follow and like. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.